Hello, my name is Ilona and in this video I'm going to take a look at the month November 2024. So much is going to happen, we've already seen it, at least I've seen it in October that so much is happening. And we of course know about November 5th in the USA is going to be very important, but just a lot of things are happening. Of course I already shuffled the cards in my Dutch video, so if you want to see me actually shuffling the cards and pulling the cards, you can see that in that video. The first three cards are about the energy of November. The second three cards, the second row, is about the challenges. Uh, the third row with three cards is about the advice. And the last three cards are about the end of November. Very interesting is that I was drawn to the deck of uh, to the back of the deck, and there was the Queen of Wands. So to me, this is an indication that we're going to see a lot more white hats activities, at least, of course, if you're open to that perspective, if you see it differently, always see what resonates with you. So we're going to see more and more happening there. So that's very, very interesting. So the first three cards are the Five of Cups, the Ace of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. So to me, it feels like it's going to be an emotional month, the month of November, but there will be opportunities to really connect with God, with your soul, um, especially with the Ace of Cups. It's about a new beginning emotionally, but there's going to be a lot of people mostly hurt, uh, sad, a lot of sadness, disappointment. So things could happen that could lead to a lot of disappointment. So maybe something, you know, will happen with November 5th that I'm sure it will be corrected, but we just don't know how things are going to go. But still in the month of November, a lot of things are going to be very disappointing, very sad for people. And it's all part of the plan that's being rolled out. That's the Knight of Pentacles. And I do believe more things about children are going to come out in the Diddy case. The children are becoming younger and younger. And that is really about preparing the people, preparing humanity of what's really been going on. It's all part of that. So we have the Five of Cups. Sadness, disappointment. Maybe a lot of people are disappointed in the governments, in, you know, worldwide, what is going on. So there's a chance of connecting, connecting with your own soul, with God. You're seeing everything in a different way, connecting with, of course, everyone around you. Are you if you're connected with yourself, then obviously you will be connected to everything around you. But plans are being made here and plans are being rolled out. The Knight of Pentacles is the Knight that sits still, but he's really looking at things. How am I going to do things? And then he's going to get moving. And once he gets moving, he's not going to stop. So there's a lot of things happening and really working out. And a lot of plans are now shown. And especially with this influence, I do believe we're going to see more and more of those plans coming out. Then the next three cards are pretty heavy cards. These are the challenges. So this is worldwide for November 2000. Uh, 2024, we've got Judgment, we've got the Magician, and we've got the Death card. These are three major Arcana cards, so they're heavy cards, heavy hitters. The uh, Judgment card is about opening up the Great Awakening. I think there are a lot of people still resisting the Great Awakening, so that's going to be a challenge, seeing things and becoming conscious and aware of what is going on. There will be people that just do not want to see this. Push it away. That is, of course, their uh, decision to make. If it's uh, consciously or unconsciously, that is a decision everyone will have to make for themselves. But it's going to be very hard to look away. It's uh, there are going to be people who have difficulty stepping into their power. This will be, of course, a challenge because it is the time now, even if you are aware of things, to stay close to yourself, to understand that you really have everything to manifest what you want. You see the magician with on the table, the sword from the air uh, element, the wands, that is the fire element. We've got the cups, the water element and the pentacles, which is the earth element. It is all there. He can create whatever he wants to create. And it's the challenge for us humans to step into our power and really start manifesting. And especially now, because I've noticed it myself, I've mentioned it this in other videos as well, that I see almost... Instant manifestation, not instantly, but it's very fast. And of course, it wasn't um, it wasn't that way a couple of years ago. It took time for things to manifest. But because of the energy 
is the frequency is rising, this will happen. It's very easy now to manifest things. So choose wisely and that will be a challenge. And a lot of people do not want things to end, want to hold on to the old, will have a lot of resistance towards ending things, seeing things end. That's the death card. So the challenge will be to let go, step into your power and become truly aware and awake of what is going on. So that will be in November. So I do think it's going to be especially emotional, especially with the two uh, cups cards for the energy, the Ace of Cups and the Five of Cups. It's going to be a very emotional month. That's the feeling I'm getting. And so we're looking at the advice. We've got the advice card. We've got the three of uh, three of swords. Sorry, three of swords. We've got the chariot, and we've got the nine of swords. So it's really a challenge to look at old pains, really feel through them, and work through them. So not remaining in your head. A lot of people, these divide trips speak about my own experience. I do have a tendency of you know not wanting to feel. So I kind of go to my head, start analyzing things. And uh, especially when you have a lot of fear and, and or maybe even anger and you get stuck in your head, it could just go on and on and on. It's almost like you're stuck on a loop and it's very important to get away from that. So look at old pain that's still coming up, triggers, what is triggering you. Uh, really make a decision if you're triggered by things outside of yourself, things happening outside of yourself, realize that it's really how you respond to it and not that it can affect you in that way. A lot of people still believe, you know, this is happening, so that's why I'm feeling this way. Now, you're feeling this way because there's something in your energy that connects with what is shown to you in the message or the whatever's happening or the situation you're in. And if you really heal that trigger inside of yourself, you won't be affected in the same way anymore. And you can really step back, take control over your life, that's the chariot, and move in a direction that you want to move. And this is really important for the advice. Look at all the old things coming up and choose your direction. Which way you want to go and follow through on that. Because it's all in your hands. It's very important to understand. And then the last three cards is the end of November. Of course, we see the Emperor, which is a military card, but I keep this completely open. I fully understand that people are waiting for that moment where the military is going to take over. I do think it's going to happen in one form or another, maybe even in smoother form than what we're told. We just don't know that. But I'm going to keep it open. This could also mean that at the end of November, things around the world maybe have escalated in some way, maybe more military movement. We have been seeing military movement for, well, quite a lot of, well, quite a few years now with all these military exercises, all these troops being moved around. So it could mean a lot of things to the emperor, but I do believe we're going to see more of it. We have the six of pentacles and we have the hermit. So that's the, um, it's talking about getting within. So if we're finally going to, uh, at the end of November, more and more people are going to start looking within, or it could be a very isolating period. The Six of Pentacles is about balancing things. You see a scale here. So it's very important that financially things are going to be balanced. That doesn't mean it's going to be, uh, how do you say this, suddenly go, everything's going to be fine. It could be that something needs to fall away to balance it because we, we are obviously stuck with this very old, dark money system that really is not good for humanity. So that needs to be rebalanced and that can happen in a lot of ways. It could be very drastic as well. We'll have to wait and see. So at the end of November, things are happening financially, military things are happening, and there is more this tendency of going within with the uh, Hermit card, finding, uh, how to say this, answers within. So it might, may feel like a bit more isolated, uh, could just have a feeling, you know, it's also part of the time period that we are at, heading towards winter. It's really going within so especially with these uh, the cards the uh, ace of cups and the five of cups for the uh, energy of november it's going to be an emotional month 
it's going to be a month where we really have to face a lot of uh, challenges that can really rock us to the core and it's important for us then to pick up the pieces heal ourselves and move in the direction that we want to because at the end of november other things are going to keep moving and like i've said we have the queen of wands so we're going to see more and more at least as that is my perspective of the white hat so i want to leave it at this hope to see you in another video bye